Hello, and welcome to a Checkpoint Tech Bytes video. This is part two of a four part series of videos protecting your mobile workforce with Checkpoint Sandblast Mobile and Microsoft Intune. In this video, we will show you how to enable and configure your Sandblast Mobile dashboard integration to your Microsoft Intune portal. Topics covered in this video are configuring integration between Sandblast Mobile and Microsoft Intune, configuring the integration settings, deploying the Sandblast Mobile Protect apps from Microsoft Intune, registering an Android device to Sandblast Mobile, and registering an iOS device to Sandblast Mobile. This video segment presumes that you already have a working Microsoft Intune solution with at least one Android and one iOS device enrolled. In this first step, we are going to configure the Sandblast Mobile dashboard integration to your Microsoft Intune instance. In your Sandblast Mobile dashboard, navigate to Settings, Device Management, Setting, and select Microsoft Intune from the MDM Service pull-down menu. There are three buttons that can be configured based on what interconnection is to be enabled. The first one is the base integration of your Microsoft Intune portal to this Sandblast mobile dashboard. Click the first button and log in with the admin credentials Sandblast mobile dashboard will use. These are the same credentials you may have created during the previous video. Accept the access rights for Sandblast mobile dashboard. The second button is to allow Sandblast Mobile to synchronize iOS devices. Click the second button and log in with the admin credentials Sandblast Mobile Dashboard will use. Accept the access rights for Sandblast Mobile Dashboard for iOS devices. The third button is to allow Sandblast Mobile to synchronize Android devices. Click the third button and log in with the admin credentials Sandblast Mobile Dashboard will use. Accept the access rights for Sandblast Mobile Dashboard for Android devices. Enter in the user group name that contains the users whose devices will be registered to Sandblast Mobile into the field Security Groups. Click the Verify button. If there are no issues with the integration information, the Save button will be enabled. Click the Save button. In order to initiate integration, click the Sync Now button. In the Microsoft Intune portal, navigate to Device Compliance Mobile Threat Defense. The MTD connector list should contain the Checkpoint Sandblast Mobile entry. Click on the Sandblast Mobile connector to edit. Toggle the On-Off buttons to On for Connect Android 4.0.3 Plus devices to Checkpoint Sandblast Mobile and for Connect iOS 8.0 Plus devices to Checkpoint Sandblast Mobile. Click the Save button. In the Sandblast Mobile Dashboard, navigate to Settings, Device Management, Setting, and click the Sync Now button to sync the iOS and Android devices. Verify that the devices are listed in the Devices tab. In this next step, we are going to add the Sandblast Mobile Protect apps to the Microsoft Intune App Catalog and create a configuration profile for the Sandblast Mobile Protect app for iOS. We will need to use the Sandblast Mobile Protect Enterprise app instead of the Apple Store version. The Sandblast Mobile Protect Enterprise iOS app must be obtained from Checkpoint and your company must sign the app using an Apple developer's ID for your organization. Visit developer dot apple dot com for obtaining an Apple developer account. Also, iOS devices require the Microsoft Authenticator app to be installed for Sandblast Mobile app registration to exceed. We will add the following apps to the app catalog. From the Apple App Store, we will add Microsoft Authenticator. From Line of Business app, we will add the signed Sandblast Mobile Protect Enterprise iOS app. And from the Android Store, we will add the Sandblast Mobile Protect app. In this first section, we will add the Microsoft Authenticator app. Navigate to Mobile Apps, Apps, and click the Add button. 
In the Add App panel, select iOS Store App from the Type pull-down menu. Select the Search from the App Store tab and enter in Microsoft Authenticator and select it from the list. Click the OK button. In the Add App panel, select the App Configuration tab, then click OK, then click the Add button. On the Microsoft Authenticator Overview panel, select the Assignments tab. Click the Select Groups button, select the appropriate users group, click the Select button, then set the type to Required from the pull-down menu. Click the Save button. In this next section, we will add the signed Sandblast Mobile Protect Enterprise iOS app. Navigate to Mobile Apps, Apps, and click the Add button. In the Add panel, select Line of Business App from the Type pull-down menu. Select the App Package File tab and click the Browse button to locate the file on your hard drive. Click the OK button. Select the App Information tab. Enter Sandblast Mobile Protect as the name. Enter a description such as what is listed in the App Store description. Set the publisher to Checkpoint Software Technologies. Add the logo image. Browse to a local file on your hard drive. I downloaded the icon from the Apple App Store. Click the OK button, click the OK button again, then click the Add button. It will take a couple of minutes to upload this file to the Microsoft Intune portal. In the meantime, we will add the Sandblast Mobile Protect Android app to the app catalog. At the time of this video, Microsoft Intune does not search the Google Play Store, so we will need to get some information such as the Google Play Store URL for Sandblast Mobile Protect. Navigate to Mobile Apps Apps and click the Add button. In the Add App panel, select Android Store App from the Type pull-down menu. Select the App Information tab. Enter Sandblast Mobile Protect as the name. Enter a description, such as what is listed in the App Store description. Set the publisher to Checkpoint Software Technologies. Get the URL for Sandblast Mobile Protect in the Google Play Store and copy-paste it into the URL field. Select the minimum operating system for Android 4.0.3. Scroll down to the Add Logo image, browse the local file on your hard drive. I use the same icon I used for my iOS entry. Click the OK button, click the OK button, and then click the Add button. Select the Assignments tab and click the Select Group button. Select the appropriate user group. Click the Select button. Set the type to Required from the pull down menu then click the Save button. Now we will create the app configuration for the Sandblast Mobile Protect iOS app. Navigate to Mobile Apps and select the App Configuration Policies tab. Click the Add button. Enter in a name and select Enrolled with Intune from the Device Enrollment Type pull-down menu. Select iOS from the Platform pull-down menu. Select the Associated App tab and select the Sandblast Mobile Protect app. Click the OK button, select the Configuration Settings tab, and select Enter XML Data from the Configuration Settings Format pull-down menu. In the text field, enter the following. Less than sign, D, I, C, T, greater than sign, less than sign, K, E, Y, greater than sign, capital M, capital D, capital M, less than sign, forward slash, K, E, Y, greater than sign, less than sign, S, T, R, I, N, G, greater than sign, capital I, capital N, capital T, capital U, capital N, capital E, less than sign, forward slash, S, T, R, I, N, G, greater than sign, less than sign, forward slash D I C T greater than sign. Click the OK button, then click the Add button. Select the Assignments tab and click the Select Groups button. Select the appropriate users group, click the Select button, click the Save button. Navigate to Mobile Apps and select the Apps tab. Click the Sandblast Mobile Protect iOS app. 
Select the Assignments tab and click the Select Groups button. Select the appropriate user group, click the Select button, set the type to Required from the pull-down menu, then click the Save button. All apps are now set to deploy to the appropriate devices. In this next step, we will register an Android device to Sandblast Mobile. While we were away, the Android device received an in-app notification from Microsoft Intune. By tapping the notification, the Google Play Store app is launched and the user is brought to the Sandblast Mobile Protect app to install. Tap Install. Accept the access permission request. Once the app is installed, launch the app. The process will automatically bring the user to the embedded authenticator. Tap the existing account used to log in to the company portal app. Tap Activate to allow Checkpoint Sandblast Mobile Protect to be a device administrator. The device will be scanned. Two apps were flagged as possibly malicious. We are allowed to ignore these prompts, so we will tap Approve on both of them. Still, there seems to be an issue as the device is not compliant. This generated a support call to the IT department. The IT department investigates the issue, and through the Sandblast Mobile dashboard, IT was able to determine that Fox's device has a property set to allow unknown app sources to be installed. This highlights an issue with the level that IT isn't interested in flagging or forcing Fox to change. So the level of the Android policy within Microsoft Intune will need to be adjusted. In the Microsoft Intune portal, navigate to the Device Compliance tab. Select the Policies tab and click the Android Policy. Select the Properties tab and select the Settings tab. Adjust the mobile threat level from Secured to Low. This will cause only risk levels of medium and high to cause the Android device to be out of compliance and not info warnings. Click the OK button, click the OK button, click the Save button. Navigate to Devices, All Devices, and Fox's device now shows as being compliant. Return to the Android device and force the compliance check by tapping Check Compliance. Fox's device is now compliant. In this next step, we will register an iOS device to Sandblast Mobile. While we were away, the iOS device received an in-app notification from Microsoft Intune to install Sandblast Mobile Protect. By tapping Install on the notification, the app is automatically installed. A second notification is received telling the user to install Microsoft Authenticator. By tapping Install on the notification, the app is automatically installed. Once the Sandblast Mobile Protect app is installed, launch the app. The user is prompted to sign in with Microsoft. By tapping this button, the Microsoft Authenticator is launched. Tap the existing account used to log in to the company portal app. Enter the AD password, tap Sign In. The device will be scanned. Launching the Company Portal app, we can see that Dana's device is compliant. In the Microsoft Intune portal, by refreshing the All Devices panel, we can see that Dana's device is compliant. Stay tuned for the next video, Testing Integration, Part 3 of this four-part series, Protecting Your Mobile Workforce with Sandblast Mobile and Microsoft Intune. Thank you for viewing this Checkpoint Tech Bytes video. Join the conversation on our user community, Checkmates, at community.checkpoint.com. For more information about Checkpoint's mobile security offerings, please visit checkpoint.com slash mobile security.